that uh, this latest video finds you well. Um, so I've just had a few emails from people who are a little bit unsure about what they need to do. So um, <clears throat> I have posted home um, or been sent home. Uh, Mr King has delivered some of the NEA guidance for you for the first um, sheet or so. I'm just going to run through a, a couple of things very, very quickly again, just to make sure you're totally clear about what you have to do. Um, so just to remind you that this is 50% of your GCSE, um, you have to engage in this uh, coursework theme. Okay, what we don't want to do is to get in the position where you come back in September and you have no idea about this coursework or the theme that has been set for you or the worst case scenario that you haven't done any work towards it. Okay, um, The work that has been sent home to you is there to support those people who haven't got an access to um, computers at home but if you've got access to <coughs> your emails um, you can certainly watch the Gmail um, watch the YouTube videos that I put together and you should be able to use the the paper based resources that's been that have been sent home for you to actually write on um, and explore the possibilities and then you can add that to your portfolio when you come back to school online okay right so just a couple of things to remind you we are working on section A and it's 10 marks um, the theme sent from the exam board is this multi-functional living Okay, so that has not been set by me. Um, this has been set by the exam board. I have no say about what that theme is. So if we're breaking this down, uh, multifunctional just means having or fulfilling several functions. So basically that just means a product that can do more than one thing. Okay, so example being um, you might have a uh, charging dock next to your bed that charges your phone uh, and then charges your smartwatch but it also has a clock on it or a mirror so that's a multifunctional product um, you might have you know a chair that next to it enables it to store books so it's a multifunctional product <clears throat> the word living basically means the pursuit of a lifestyle uh, income sufficient to live or the means of earning it or how you live your area, your house, your environment, your hobbies, the products you own, the jobs that people do. Okay, So the living part is actually incredibly open because everything we do is to do with living, how we live, the jobs that we do, the lifestyle that's, that we lead, um, the well-being, um, our health, um, the products we use, the hobbies we have. So you've just simply got to design or try and think of a product that can be used with somebody on everyday living and that's multifunctional so it has more than one use okay so a product that goes from one thing to another or a product that can have a couple of different uses so even if you type into um, to the internet into Google multifunctional products you'll see there are thousands of them if you type in multifunctional living you'll see there are thousands of different pictures if you use something like Pinterest so the first task really for you <coughs> is to brainstorm that. So we've done this on probably three or four different projects before. Um, you're going to brainstorm the word um, multifunctional living. It's one page only, okay? so it doesn't need to be a massive amount of work. So there are some key things to remember. Uh, quality over quantity. Uh, don't be negative. Put as many ideas as you can down. Doesn't matter if they're how bizarre or unusual they are. Uh, and Try and build on those ideas and expand out. So there's several ways in which you can do this. I spoke about this before. So traditional spider uh, diagrams, the five W's. You can look back on your work in year 10 uh, where you've already done brainstorm for things like um, the speaker project, um, the um, light dependent resistor project, the night light that we did. Look back on those. Okay, you can things like decision pentagons, hats, uh, starbursting. All different ways to brainstorm. <clears throat> so if I typed in on Pinterest multifunctional living, these are the types of things that I'm getting up here. So chairs that can change into different things, uh, pictures that act as um, sort of little greenery areas, tables that have multifunctional purposes, uh, cutters that cut different things, a chair that has 
uh, areas for magazines, uh, a modular style chair that can be rearranged for different items, even things like multifunctional gadgets, you know, a hanger that does different items, um, a mirror that you can also act as a bookshelf, a chair with books, uh, a table that can act as another function like a speaker, um, you know, a light that ho holds um, some kind of plant, um, some kind of bookshelf that has a light in it. This is multifunctional, so it has a, two different tasks. You can see this great design here, a pen holder, stationary holder, um, phone holder, again, a multifunctional product. So anything that can do more than one job. Okay, that can include also things like chairs and tables and coffee tables, uh, step ladders, um, you know, anything, even even buildings to a certain extent, utensils, you know, you might have something that you need, um, you know, to repair your bike and you can create a tool that's multifunctional, it does different things. Um, so just have a little think of those. So starting using the brainstorming, classic way to start, um, spider diagram, multifunctional living, and the question is, well, what on earth do you put around there? Well, you know, you can start with the what, the who, the why, the where, and the where, um, the why, the where, and the when, okay, which is what we call the five Ws. Uh, you can add a how to that if you want to as well. But mainly, if you look back at these examples here, and this is an example of a low end piece of work, so we talk about levels two, three, and uh, maybe a four here. You can see that this one last year they had healthy lifestyle. Uh, and they've just you know gone off and just explored different areas of that and expanded and this person here high quality desk tidy in the middle they're, them around they around the outside have put specification titles theme materials product aesthetics target economic ergonomic size function okay and expanded that way if you look at the one from last year and this is a level eight or nine which is incredibly uh, well done their theme was a high profile occasion and he started off with, you know, Halloween, Christmas, Easter and so on and expanded. He's put on designers for inspiration that might help with his products and then I've done a lovely little summary at the end in the corner here. Okay, so if I was expanding from this, I might put who. Okay, well, who being, who could be my client? So that could that be my mum, my dad, my brother, my sister, it cannot be Mr. Buck, can't be somebody in the DT room, another teacher, uh, another family member, uh, somebody that you know in the community, a business, um, who could be your potential client to give you feedback. If you're expanding on something um, such as what, well, what products might that person like? So would it be a multifunctional light? Would it be a docking station that has multifunctions? Would it be a piece of furniture that has different functions? Would it be a tool that has different functions? Um, you know, the list is endless that you can put on. And then you could expand and then you could put who, um, when. So when will they use it? Is it nighttime in the bedroom? Daytime at school, in the workshop? You know, when would they use a multifunctional product? And then you can add things like, you know, other areas like materials, okay? Well, if you expand in from materials, you can do things like, well, wood, softwoods, hardwoods, metals, ferrous, non-ferrous, uh, non alloys, uh, plastics, polymers, thermosetting, um, thermoplastics, you know, things that you already know about, and then fill that sheet full of contextual ideas, fill it full of information um, that you can think of. Something like that would be fantastic. Something like that would be incredible. Something like that would be a great starting point. Now, in terms of finding your work, I know a few people have struggled with this. So again, the G Suite here. So this here has got to be your school logon. So you can see mine here has got Kempston Challenger Academy. You cannot access your G, uh, your Google Drive unless you're in your school account. Okay, so I'm in my school account here. Now, for me, your folder that you use, this one here, Year 11 2021 NEA, that is in my drive for me and it's green okay that won't be in my drive for you it won't be it will be under shared drives because what i've done is is shared that drive with you okay if i right mouse click you can see it has been shared with the year 10 group and myself 
Okay, so yours will be under shared drives. So when you go into shared drives, you'll see this folder. Double click it. Okay, you'll see that you've got all your folders here. <coughs> NEA resources will be resources to help you with this. Go into your individual product um, folder. So if I go into Lucas section A, open up his section A. Okay, and then you'll see that we started to set this up last half term. So Luke has already got this here. Okay, he's got a template sheet already. All right, because we started that last half term. And then this here is going to be his first page. <clears throat> so he's got initial brainstorm, good start. He's got his name down here. So what he'll do is he'll start with a shape in the middle, whether it be a circle or an overall oval. Okay, he's going to pop this into the middle and then he's going to start with multi functional living okay he's going to start with that bang in the middle and then he's going to expand from that all right try and keep it nice and small because okay and then he's going to expand from that so he can put in um, an arrow okay and then what he could do is just click on this and copy and paste it bring it up to the side and then he might start with who okay and then he might copy and paste that again start from the side he might copy and paste this okay so and he's will start with client so it might be mum okay dad etc or of course what he could do is completely get rid of that Instead of having loads of bubbles here, and then he could actually insert a text box, and then he could start to make a little list. So he could start with mum, dad, uh, sister, uh, granddad, etc. Okay, and keep those, that text nice and small, and then expand all around. Okay. Good. Uh, the deadline for this, I think, is in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, if you have any issues at all, please email me um, and I'll um, sort that out with you.